water. Fundamental to life. Vital to the human body. Essential for food. Life's fragile resource is threatened by drought, pollution, and climate change. Decaying urban infrastructure and population growth also present many challenges, particularly in urban centers of the United States. My name is Junko Munakata Mar, and I'm just one in a network of scientists, engineers, practitioners, educators, and service providers who are collaborating closely and are already hard at work. We're working together to transform traditional models of water use to more sustainable systems, to reduce our consumption, to recover and reuse, to work towards energy positive water treatment systems, and to recover nutrients and improve urban habitats. The proposed NSF ERC on reinventing America's urban water infrastructure builds on existing research and efforts to overcome these challenges. We are based at four universities in the arid west, where these water issues are particularly evident today. The ERC will also establish new links to our existing network by integrating industrial, educational, and international partners. Our efforts are focused on technological innovation, policy, economic, and institutional solutions. A key driver of our work is public education. The ERC includes a robust and vital educational program, which will benefit from existing partnerships at the university and pre-college levels. Various programs and curricula will target students at all levels, the general public, water professionals, and decision makers. A unique infrastructure, especially suited to this ERC, is already in place to support the joint research effort led by a diverse team with exceptional expertise in leading and managing both fundamental and applied research efforts. And then when we have the write-ups in hand, we'll know which way to go on the projects. State-of-the-art testing and research facilities, of course, are crucial, and the university labs are just the beginning. An array of unique and complementary test beds of varying scales and diversity, most of which are already well established, will provide a foundation for the highest quality of fundamental and applied research. Incorporated in these test bed sites are educational and outreach programs utilizing state of the art communication technologies, including video conferencing, to deliver these programs to ERC partners in rural areas. Working with both public and private partners, this ERC will examine the integration of engineered and natural treatment systems to reinvent urban water infrastructure. To realize this transformation, fundamental and applied research is needed at the bench, pilot, and citywide scales. As we head out on a whirlwind tour of the unique research facilities of this ERC, let's begin right here at Stanford, using the university's most abundant resource, students. When students come to Stanford, they never expect to be helping engineers redesign urban water systems, but a select group from the class of 2015 will, and they won't have to take a single exam in this program. Here, researchers will move their experiments from the bench scale to this rare living laboratory of 45 unassuming undergraduates whose routine water use will be under the microscope. We are examining water and energy balances from multiple scales, from dorms, to the whole campus, to the city, and the greater Bay Area. Our goal is to reinvent wastewater management to achieve much greater efficiency. We can do this by extracting the energy needed from the wastewater itself. Our vision is to transform our urban water infrastructure and improve the triple bottom line. We see a future in which we operate systems at a fraction of the current cost, use produced water to improve aquatic habitats, significantly improve nutrient management, and become energy and carbon neutral. To aid in this evaluation, we travel to the eastern slope of the Rocky Mountains, where energy metering devices at a pilot scale membrane bioreactor provide valuable data for process optimization. This is the Mines Park Water Reclamation Test Site at the Colorado School of Mines. Here, engineers study process resilience and energy demand of alternative distributed water treatment technologies. This small community scale test bed 
could be a model to replace our aging water infrastructure. So for example, biosolids from wastewater has long been recognized as a source for uh, energy. An anaerobic digester system at these sites will provide the data we need to understand where and at what scale this technology is feasible. Deep in the desert, at New Mexico's southern border, further studies on energy-efficient desalination processes for inland settings will be conducted by ERC investigators at the Brackish Groundwater National Desalination Research Facility, operated by the Bureau of Reclamation. And here, in the city of Palo Alto, ERC scientists will collaborate with city engineers to integrate our findings from the test beds in California, Colorado, and New Mexico to the city scale, planning for the transition of an urban center to a sustainable water future. For example, we're evaluating, right here in the field, the proper combination of additional treatment to produce a high-quality, sustainable, reclaimed water for irrigation and other non-potable uses. While engineered solutions hold great promise for our water future, researchers are investigating how to integrate natural systems into the urban water cycle. Across San Francisco Bay and 60 miles inland, UC Berkeley researchers are working with the town of Discovery Bay to let nature remove contaminants from wastewater. Around 10 years ago, Utilities around the country started building wetlands to provide a low-cost treatment step prior to discharging wastewater effluent to surface waters. At the Discovery Bay testbed, we're learning how wetlands can be designed and operated to maximize treatment efficiency while simultaneously providing habitat and improving urban aesthetics. Returning to the Southwest, ERC investigators will build on research on stream restoration already underway at New Mexico State University they will transfer to an urban setting their current research on how to improve water quality and quantity where invasive plants have threatened the already scarce water supply. The achievement of ecological health in freshwater systems requires both good water quality and good habitat quality. Here in Las Cruces we can build on results from Discovery Bay and assess different interventions for management of riparian plants to improve water quality and quantity through control of invasive species while simultaneously assessing impacts on habitat quality. In Tisa Alangasekara's lab at Colorado School of Mines, ERC researchers will explore another way to protect and improve the water supply, store and treat it underground and monitor it using wireless sensor networks. In the nearby city of Aurora, Colorado, Water from an effluent-dominated river that drains the metro Denver area is recovered through wells near the riverbanks and, after additional treatment, is supplied again to Aurora's residents as a clean drinking water supply. Back on the west coast, just south of the San Francisco Bay Area, the final piece to the underground water storage puzzle can be found. Here at Pajaro Valley, stormwater is being collected and stored underground before being used as a source of water for irrigation. We'll be working with industrial partners such as Schlumberger to develop and use sensor technologies so that water managers can keep track of what's happening in this underground reservoir that we can't see. With a one-of-a-kind network of facilities and a world-class research team, we will take this ERC full speed ahead. Oh, wait a minute. Sometimes engineers forget the most important part, the public. No matter what game-changing technologies or findings we discover, it will be impossible to put it to use without public education and outreach to decision makers. And that's exactly why this ERC has a powerful education component, addressing the need to not only teach water use and treatment approaches in schools and in the community, but to actively nurture a talent stream to bring young engineers and scientists into this field of study. Established partnerships between member institutions and local schools from kindergarten through high school and community college, representing diverse and underrepresented populations, will be leveraged to develop, test, and establish programs at various levels. Partnerships with prominent local museums and community events will educate and inform the decision makers and the general public about innovative and sustainable urban water infrastructure technologies and approaches. Each campus will develop demonstration sites associated with the ERC test beds, highlighting the water research activities. The outreach at these facilities will target both public and systemic resistance to change. 
because change is as essential as the water we use every day. The sustainable solution and the willingness to embrace it is within reach. <laughs>